Hare Krishna. We may have been taught all gods are one, worshipping Ganesh, Durga, Rama, Chandra, Indra, or the various other 330 million gods or demigods is equal to worshipping any one of them. Whomever we worship, we get the same result. This is the common notion amongst today's Hindus. But in actuality, when we focus and practice the ancient teachings of the Vedic Siddhanta or the conclusion, we come to a very different point of view. Yes, we may have been taught by our grandparents or parents that all gods are one. If you worship Krishna, Durga, Ganesh, you are worshipping the one supreme absolute. But ultimately, that is incorrect. Just because you buy a ticket from London to Glasgow doesn't mean you can go to Paris. So just like that example, that analogy, if we are to worship anybody, we would go to that particular abode. The common misunderstanding is that all gods are one. Many people don't know why there are so many gods or if there are gods. And then there's the notion of this oneness. But ultimately, if we study Vedic literatures like the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, the conclusion of the Vedic literatures is that ultimately Krishna is the Supreme. Krishna and through his Vishnu Tattva avatars such as Ram, Narsimha, Varaha, Matsya, Kurma, so many others are the Supreme. Now, if you worship the celestials or other gods, it's not equal to worshiping Krishna or Narsimha or Sri Ram. No, not at all. Let's get us out of that misconception. Let's help educate our fellow Hindus. In the Bhagavad Gita, gives the exact reasoning behind my statements today. It says in the ninth chapter, 25th verse, Yanti Deva Vrata Devan Pitri Yanti Pitri Vrata Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Mam Yajinopi Mam This gives the conclusion and eradicates all misunderstanding about the fact that all gods are one and whomever you worship, you go there. The translation is those who worship the other gods or demigods go to the demigods. Those who worship the ancestors go to the ancestors. Those who worship the ghosts go to the ghosts. And those who worship me, Krishna, attain me or come to my abode. Nothing can be more clear than that. So let's focus from this point forward and clear out any misunderstanding as when we are clear and educated then we can educate others. There's so many misgivings and misunderstandings about the Vedic culture. But it is up to those who follow Vedic Siddhanta to educate themselves so that Vedic culture is not simply about a laughing stock, about so many gods, but it's about re-establishing a relationship with Krishna. Bhagavad Gita, as it is, explains our true nature. Who is God? Who are the Devatas? They are not equal to Krishna. So when you worship Krishna, you go to Krishna. You worship the demigods, you go to the demigods. You worship the ancestors, you go to the ancestors. And if you worship the ghosts, you go there. So which would you prefer? To remain in ignorance? To go to the demigods, the ancestors, or the ghosts? Or to come back home, back to Krishna? Hare Krishna.